Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. It's an opportunity for us to listen to the Bible together and to hear what God is saying to us today. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verses 10 and 11. Here is my advice. It would be good for you to finish what you started a year ago. Last year, you were the first who wanted to give and you were the first to begin doing it. Now you should finish what you started. Let the eagerness you showed in the beginning be matched now by your giving. Does any of this ring a bell with you? It certainly does with me. We begin to do something and we feel really enthusiastic about it, but then other things get in the way. Here in Corinth, the church had shown a desire to give money to support Paul's collection for the Christians living in poverty in Judea. But over time, they seem to have forgotten about it. Paul is now eager to remind them of their earlier enthusiasm and encourage them to turn that into action. It's said that the path to hell is paved with good intentions. That is to say, anyone can have good intentions, but what matters is that we do something about them. Another wise saying is that people with good intentions make promises, but people with good character keep them. If we are to be effective, we need to ensure that our lives are tuned in to God and that we're continuing to grow in strength and maturity. That will only happen as we spend time with God. Even Jesus himself, who was both a perfect man and the Son of God, needed to spend time with his Heavenly Father. We can be sure that our daily openness to God in prayer will be fundamentally important to our ability to keep on track with his will. This is a good moment to think back through the last few months. Perhaps you've heard about a charity that desperately needs help, or a person who is struggling to make ends meet, or an organisation in your church that needs someone to support it. Stop and think for a moment, and then ask God whether, like the church in Corinth, this is the moment when you need to be turning your good intentions into action. Let me pray with you. Loving Father, forgive us for those times when we have failed to turn our good intentions into action. In the power of your Holy Spirit, make us stronger so that we can become more effective for you. Amen. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.